friends, Cheat Code 548C, this is video number two. Video number two for this, all right? Asterisk because there's more questions, more graphing questions about this teak than the other two teaks. Okay, they all work together, but these are the specific types of questions that they're asking the most. Graphing, input, output table. Video number two, so go back to video number one if you want a refresher on the vocab. Ah, last video, the last question number two, I for the first time we had fractions inside of the coordinate plane. So if you have multiple, multiple lines in between the whole numbers, well, you're going to have fractions. So this is one third, two thirds, three thirds, right? So that, oh, three, not three quarters, three thirds. Three thirds. So what three over three is one. Right? So that's one. Now you're gonna have, you know, one and one third. One and two thirds. One third, two thirds, three thirds, and that's two. So that's how the fractions are gonna work on the coordinate plane. Be careful. Don't stress yourself out. A polygon is shown on the coordinate grid. The list below shows the ordered pairs representing the locations of the five vertices of this polygon. Which vertex is not represented? Okay, five vertices, but this is a hexagon, so there's one missing. Okay, so two and two thirds and two thirds. Okay, so let's say two and one, two thirds, and this is. See, notice this is X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. Always look at that comma. That comma, it's, it's a whole lot going on here. Calm down. We're good. Two and two thirds, and this is, this is one, so this is going to be two thirds, one third. Okay, so that's S. S is covered. Two thirds and one and two thirds. Two thirds. And then one and one third, two thirds. U is covered. Look, they're not even doing them in order, right? So they're kind of they're kind of trying to be jerks. One and one third, one and one third, and then two thirds. Okay, so that's that's T. One and one third, two and two thirds. One and one third, two and one third, two thirds. P. Three and a third, so this is one third, and that is one, one third, two thirds, R. Q is not here. Q is not listed. All right, no more fractions, thank goodness. Now our, our coordinate grid and our coordinate plane can be a lot, a lot cleaner. The ordered pairs below represent three vertices of a trapezoid. A trapezoid has four sides. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral. So we need to figure out the, the, the fourth vertice. Which ordered pair could represent the location of the fourth vertex of this trapezoid? Two, one. Okay. Four, four. Okay. Four, six. Four, six. Oh man. Okay. Four, six. Well, let's let's try. I'm gonna get a different color for us. Okay. Four, five. Four, five. I don't think that's gonna help us make a shape. So that's not right. Okay. Because that's that's like a weird line. Ten, nine. Okay. Ten. Nine, that's, that is not a trapezoid, so, okay, two nine, two, one, two, okay, all the way up to nine, and let's use, let's, let's, let's draw, we know that these are connected, oh, is it a trapezoid, is it, is it standing on its edge, maybe, okay, and then, this one could work, potentially. 
because you can come up and over and then four one. Four one. Huh. Yeah, that's not gonna be it. You're not gonna have three in a row. That would be a line. So our trapezoid, it gets it's right here. One pair of parallel lines and then uh two two angles. So that's that's it, two nine. All right. Next question, number five. The ordered pairs below represent the location of four people. Okay. Nathan, Denise, Wade, and Urvasi. Paula is located at 7 7. Based on the information, which statement is true? Well, let's do Paula at 7 7. Paula, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's Paula. Nathan is at 6 5. 6 5. Nathan. Wade is at 7 0. Wait, and then Urvasi is at 1 1. Paula is located one unit south. Okay, here's our compass south. Um, one unit south and two units east of Nathan. No, Paula is north, so that's wrong. Paula is located seven units east, right? So east of Wade. No, Paula is north of Wade. That's wrong. Paula is located three units south. No, she's the tallest one. She's not south of anybody. She's not below anybody. She's north. Paula is located six units west of Urvasi. Okay. West of Urvasi. Paula is located six units west of Urvasi is here. And west is this direction. No. Okay. So, all of those are wrong, so let's start over, right? Maybe I made a mistake. Paula is located one unit south, uh, one unit south and two units east from Nathan. Paula is not south. Paula is located six, seven units east from Wade. No. Paula is located. Oh, Denise! I didn't write Denise down. Look at that. See, I did make a mistake. Denise, nine, ten. This is Denise. See, mistakes happen. Go slow, start over. If you don't get your answer. Guys, the reason I'm not editing these videos and editing my mistakes out, I want you to see you can problem solve here. I made a mistake on my graph, and then I had to go back and I found my mistake, Denise. So Paula is located three units south, one, two, three, and two units west, here's west, of Denise, one, two. That is correct. C is our answer. Missed it. I don't feel bad about it either, okay? When you take the star test, stuff's going to happen. Don't get upset. Just stay calm, stay cool, and, and finish the test strong. Catch your mistake and then move on. The ordered pairs below represent three vertices of a rhombus. Rhombus is a tilted square. Okay. So, four, nine, six, seven. So, let's go four, nine, six, seven, six, seven, four, five, four, Five. Okay. Look, it's two diagonals, two squares. Which ordered pair could represent the fourth vertex of this rhombus? I'm thinking it's going to be right here, right? That makes sense. So which point is that? I, I didn't even look at the answers yet. I just, I think it's going, oh, whoops. I think it's going to be right there. Is that two seven? Two seven's an answer. So let's just go with it. Look, that is a rhombus. It's a square. Okay. All right. Guys, that's our video. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you need. Let me know how I can help you. And we'll see you next time.